Hey guys, it's Martin from Yes, I'm a Designer. Let me show you a cool new feature in Adobe InDesign CC 2019. So this might sound a little bit geeky, especially if you are not into typography, but I love to work in InDesign and I love every new feature that I can use to automate the formatting of text in my documents. So if you are not using paragraph styles, again, this might not be a huge thing for you, but if you are, then you are really going to appreciate it. So let me zoom a little bit closer and show you that we have a bulleted list here. Now, whenever you use paragraph styles for these, the problem is that if you are specifying space before or space after a paragraph, it will have the same distance between your paragraphs than before the first instance and the last instance. You had to create multiple styles and then combine them together to make this work but not, you don't need to do that anymore because it got much easier thanks to the fact that now we have space between paragraphs as well as an option that you can save into your paragraph styles. So first of all, what you need to do is to save a paragraph style. You can do this from here on the top, selecting the paragraph formatting controls and then click on the little icon there and choose new paragraph style or you can use also the new properties panel where you can find here the option create style whenever you have text selected. Now, of course, once you have your style, you can go into style options and then you can see exactly how the style is set up. So once the dialog box is open, we can go to indents and spacing, making sure that the preview is on so we can see the changes that we do. We now can see that the option here the new option is space between the paragraphs and this by default is set to ignore. But if I set that to zero points, you will see immediately that the distance between the paragraphs, because each entry in the list is a separate paragraph, will be now completely empty. So there's no distance between them. Well, if I go to the space before option and start increasing that value, that will only increase the space before the first entry in the list. And similarly, the space after will only affect the very end. So this feature can almost handle multiple paragraphs as a group, understanding that there is space between them and space before the first instance and space after the last instance. As I said, it's a very geeky typographic feature, but I am really excited about it. And I know already that I'm going to use this very often. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you want to find out more about the other more fancy new features of CC 2019, make sure you check back on our channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.